Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 Browns and NFL Early Games Post Game Show and Late Games Update Show. Well, Jalen Hurts threw for 264 yards and two touchdowns, including a go ahead 45 yard loss to Devontae Smith in the fourth quarter. And the Ragged Eagles held off the Cleveland Browns, who drop another one by four. 20 to 16 today at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly. Uh, Hertz also threw a, a 22 yard uh, TD to AJ Brown, who returned along with uh, Smith. Both wide receivers missed time with injuries. The Eagles can't afford to lose either for any more lengthy stretches if they want to make a deep postseason run. And uh, coming off a of bye. <clears throat> Uh, the already uh, uh, maddening uh, Eagles, who are now 3-2, and two, had a tough one out against, uh, had the tough one out against the Browns, who dropped now to 1-5, and five, and when will this ever end? In front of a uh, mostly uh, listless uh, crowd, before Smith's TD, Eagles fans only showed some fire when they uh, chanted for Coach Nick uh, Serrani to get fired. Uh, uh, trailing 20-13, to 13, the Browns moved into the Eagles' territory late in the game, only to settle for a D Dustin Hopkins 31-yard 31 31-yard 31 field goal. Deshaun Watson was pushed out of bounds at the two-yard line on a scramble, and he threw an incomplete Third down, the Eagles took over with, with 354 remaining and didn't let Cleveland get the ball back with Hurts finding Brown for a 40-yard gain to put the game away. Uh, Serrani promised changes coming out of the bye week, and he delivered the fourth-year coach, shaved his uh, head on the field. On the field, it was mostly the same old Eagles who uh, turned – uh, running back Saquon uh, Barkley into a bystander couldn't get Hurts to consistently uh, connect with his star receivers and had a shoddy uh, execution, uh, notable on special teams. Uh, the saving grace, they played the Browns. Uh, uh, Watson's dismissal play did nothing to quiet the calls that the team's uh, $230 million quarterback should be benched. Uh, he, he's finished 16 of 23 for 168 yards. Brown, Browns failed to score on any uh, uh, offensive... League championship series. There are any offensive uh, touchdown. They still baseball. There's only four uh, teams that have haven't this scored. And one of them plays for Cleveland. 20 points in a game this season, and they only scored 16 points again today. And uh, even got a Tony touchdown on a blocked field goal by all. Throw Miles Garrett that Rodney McLeod Jr. scooped and returned that touch to the end zone. Watson was sacked three times and threw for just 49 yards in the first half. Browns coach Kevin Stefanski, who scratched his head in this one, who decided last week he'll hang on to play. I'm going to start rattling duties. This is the schedule. Has been steadfast in his commitment uh, to Watson. Bengals. Uh, who's in his third we season of a fully guaranteed five-year contract. Have their number. Yeah. Okay, Ravens. Uh, Browns yeah. has six catches no. for, a, uh, 100, for 116 yards. I feel good about the uh, And the score after he missed the last uh, three games with a hamstring injury. Smith had three catches for 64 yards. He started the game with a uh, concussion. Um, Jack Elliott kicked a 44-yard yeah. murder in the third yeah. quarter. The Eagles and Hopkins had a 49-yarder on the fourth that made it 13 all. Here. Uh, in Denver for Monday night. Well, that's dangerous. After a scoreless uh, first quarter in the, for the fifth game this season, Elliott broke through with a 49-yarder. The Eagles found a rare offensive spark. On their second drive of the uh, quarter, Steelers, which, uh, to Grant, uh, 
Pelletira for uh, the 34 yards. Hurts to Brown. Bengals, Dolphins, and Rich. For 16 yards. And Hurts to Brown for the 22 yard strike. Uh, I, I, I uh, that made it 10 uh, nothing. Hopkins kicked a 40 yarder for the Browns, for Browns making it a 10-3 ball game. The Eagles seem twice to a nurse small, nurse a small lead into halftime. When Elliott lined up for a 57-yard attempt, uh, Garrett got his hand on the ball. Uh, when he jumped over, Tyler Steen, uh, a nice second for a six foot four, two hundred seventy two pounder for the block. Cover Eagle safety, McLeod scooped the loose ball and ran for fifty yards. A few good things for the score. Tapped with a uh, somersault into the end zone to tie it at ten all with uh, fourteen seconds left in the half. That were designed that he was catching them with the screens and the and the running back release. Eagle fans uh screens fed up with Serrani since last season's late collapse. Booed the team off the field. The real angry one started a uh, uh, fire. Nick Chant. While those at home amused uh, uh, on a social media, if a coach should get fired at halftime, Brown center Nick Harris was carted off the field with an ankle injury on the opening drive. Uh, third stringer Michael Dunn replaced Harris. Uh, running back Jerome Ford suffered a hamstring injury. Harris only got uh, the start because starter Ethan uh, Pollock was active with a knee injury, was out along with safety's Grant Dopin, was a concussion, and Ronnie Hickman with an ankle injury. Too complex, though. When we thinking about and that, Eagles tight end Dallas uh, Gogert suffered a hamstring injury. Uh, uh, quarterback Darius Slay left with a knee injury. Uh, offensive tackle Jordan uh, Malita, Malita left in the fourth, also with a hamstring injury. And uh, next season, the will host the Bengals on Sunday. And the Eagles are at the New York Giants. And the Browns have about. Actually, we have four or five games left till the bye week. Do your job. What's the play call for this? Uh, fourth and one. We we give it to a guy who's unblocked. Who's uh, and uh, a defender that was unblocked. You put James and they did, hand up. We just did that. They did that and one. When the Eagles scored that touchdown, you, 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 I was giving way too much of the one. You, you can't do that, guys. And, and another, I gotta give the, the game place. calls to uh. uh Doing a job. Uh, the Eagles trying to hurt 16 25, 464 yards, two touchdowns. Squad Brock, 18 attempts, 47 yards. And AJ Brown, uh, 16 uh, receptions, 116 yards, one touchdown. How come nobody can stop this? Deshaun uh, Watson, this is what they did today. I'm not giving them the game balls. Deshaun Watson, 16 of 23 careers and attempts, 168 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. TJ uh, Strong, uh, Pierre Strong, Pierre Strong, Jr. Excuse me. They're the ones that created it, and they're. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not 43 yards, and Amari Cooper, four receptions for 42 yards. You can't see yards. that yeah. power yeah. him on the ground. So, uh, besides, you said, he, players. you said he's not getting it. Oh, a lot of times he's not getting it. He, that and, uh, one they had, he did not get it. He was stood up. The place that his momentum stopped. Yeah. We didn't replay it. We saw it. His momentum stopped. Guys was like, oh, that's over, it's over. And it was no whistle. And I just, I agree with that, uh, Josh. The surge at the end. I don't get the chance. Yeah, I guess he was, man. The whistle should blow. But the whistle didn't blow. I would say that. Yeah, and that whistle should blow on that one play in the third quarter. Or when he's already stopped, they call the penalty on it for late hit. Play till the whistle blows. You right. You know that. But he will stop. That's what I'm saying. So, what's the thing? The regular play was two sports. Everybody right there. Yeah. Behind the line. I was stopped. It, it, it almost failed. And another play. They, and Hopkins had a blocked field goal. Uh, and they let him go. Yeah. Uh, uh, was like, what was I going to do? No matter if it's and uh, it was just a uh, not a good day for the Browns and Rolls on on CW. Yeah. Yeah, tune to the fifth quarter while I'm watching while I'm doing this podcast, watching the fifth quarter in the seat. And uh right now we're gonna go over the uh, early games. Uh, that I came in. Uh, you already know that 
Championship. Chicago Bears beat the Jacksonville Jaguars at Northumberland Stadium in London, England, 35-16. to And I took uh, Chicago and I won with that one. I told you that early, early. I saw my brother-in-law, Eric Hoyle. The Baltimore Ravens beat the uh, – and uh, I got – the Baltimore Ravens beat the Washington Commanders 30-23. Uh, Washington did score in the fourth, but uh, Baltimore held on to get the win, and I've got to give the game balls to Lamar Jackson, Derrick Henry, and uh, Zay Flowers. i got to give them to them. Uh, the uh, Green Bay Packers beat the – uh, and oh, I took Baltimore, and so did my brother-in-law. I won on that one. We both won on that one. Uh, and I, for the Browns game, I took Philly. My brother-in-law took the Browns. I took Philadelphia. I won on that one, but the my my brother-in-law took the Browns. He uh, lost on that one. The Green Bay Packers beat the Arizona Cardinals thirty-four to thirteen today at legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And I took uh, uh, Green Bay and won. My brother-in-law took the Cardinals. He lost. Uh, and the Packers get the game balls. Uh, the uh, the Houston Texans oh, well up the New England Patriots by 20. 41 to 21 today at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. New England uh, just... Uh, could not do anything right after the third quarter in that second half. And uh, they were down 21 to 7 in halftime. And it was not a good day for the Patriots. And Texans get the game balls. I took the Texans. So did my brother in law. We both won on that one. Uh, the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, after being down by a field goal in the third quarter, 27 24. Pulled away and wall up the New Orleans Saints. 51 to 27. Back of the game, boss, to Baker Mayfield in the box. And I took Tampa Bay. My brother in law took, uh, uh, also took Tampa Bay. We won on that one. Uh, the, uh, and the, rounding out the early games, the Indianapolis Colts beat the, uh, Tennessee Titans by three, 20 to 17. Managed to hold on to get the win, and I give the game balls to the Joe Flacco and the Colts. Uh, and I took Indianapolis, and so did my brother-in-law, Eric Hoyle. And right now he is six and two. Yeah, six and uh, two, and I am eight and zero. Oh. I have not lost a pick yet today. And right now I'm going to update you on the late games. Uh, the Los Angeles Chargers are up on the Denver Broncos at Empire Field in Mile High. 10 to uh, 10 nothing. 31 at the Chargers, 34. And the Chargers have the ball. Uh, the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers are trailing the Raiders by one, 7 to 6. Second quarter, 12 12 left to go. Pittsburgh about to kick off. They missed a, the extra point was missed. And so uh, the uh, Carolina Panthers, oh, are up in the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, uh, Seven nothing at Bank of America Stanley, okay. Carolina. Uh, five twelve left to go in the first. Thirty nine at the Atlanta thirty one and uh, uh, Atlanta uh, Atlanta has the ball and Detroit's up on Dallas three nothing. First quarter of seven four two left to go in the first quarter. First and ten at Detroit and the Detroit twenty eight. Dallas has the ball. I have Pittsburgh, Atlanta, and Detroit, and Denver. And my brother-in-law took the Raiders. That's the only late game. And, and the Cowboys, those are the two late games we didn't agree on. He took the Broncos and the Falcons. Speak of the facts. And Deshaun Watson, as I mentioned, 60 and 23 Christmas attempts, 168 yards passing, touchdowns, no receptions, sacked five times, only 17 yards rushing today. Not good. Not a good guy. It's just not a good day at all. And I agree. We all know know the team that we have, and we we I don't like so, listening to. I'm, it was just like not a good day for the Browns today. There you go. Yeah. By far. There you go. And uh, uh, it just needs to do a lot of soul searching between now and next Sunday. Because this one's a home game. You got to beat the Bengals, boys. And next week, I will be on location for my pregame show. 
We're out to the Harley Hairspray Game Show it right in there. Night on night Sunday at the Murphy House, the home of my friends, Matt Ken Murphy, and my special guest. Joining me will be my really good friend, other than Matt Murphy. He will join me next week, as I'll be doing it from his house. So, uh, stay, so uh, tune in for that. I want a quarterback does one, two, three, set throw. You saying it's right inside you. You're saying it. Yeah, yes, that's a lot quicker, Deshaun Watson. You gotta put a little onus on these receivers. You gotta put a little oomph into that. You gotta execute quicker. And these receivers. And you just really gotta get rid of the ball and get it to one of your guys that's open. When he's one, two, three, ready to throw, and you ain't done your move. You gotta be able to cover that offense and lead it. If the quarterback's a throw, he's spinning in there. Yeah, you gotta have that quarterback to throw, and I agree with that. I agree. I agree with Josh Cribbs. As of what he's saying, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly with him. Yeah, I'm serious. I agree with him. I just feel he needs to really, that offense needs to step it up. I know we're using backups, but they got to step it up. So you need to do that, boys. And I know it's only backups. We're going to get Nick Chubb and we already got Jack Conklin back in. Uh, Jordan Wills will be back next week. He'll be back. So we're going to get that back. And uh, we expect to pull I expect to see a full offensive line next week. So you really need to really do a lot of soul searching this week, boys. And uh, game one of the NLCS between the Cleveland Guardians and the New York Yankees is tomorrow night at 738. That will be on. Uh, TBS that will be on international station. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so we can all look forward to that and not, even though the Browns are not doing well right now. And uh, they got a lot of soul search to do, as I've said. And you got to score more than 16 points. You can't be, they haven't been able to get up to 20 points and they cannot be scoring uh, just 16 or points or less a game. You've got to score more points, boys. And I'm serious. You do. So, uh, you really <clears throat> got to really get yourselves together. Because we just want to win some games. If you want, you got to start winning a lot of these games if you want to make the playoffs. Which we're thinking it's not going to happen. But that's what you need to do, boys. You need to do that. So, we shall see. Uh, hopefully, the Browns can come away with the one over the Bengals next week. So, uh, so we shall see. And and so, uh, but I agree. They need the ball needs to be executed better. They need to execute better and a lot quicker as well. So, and I do agree with that. So, and. You just, you've got to stop the opposing quarterback. And you can't give those guys a lot. You can't leave uh, your opposing team's players wide open on the offensive line for the, or the defense for them to be able to score a touchdown. You have got to get on them. You cannot be doing that. And you just did not do that today, boys. Yeah, Grant you was a better game, but you kept, you kept it close. But it just was not a good day at all for uh, our Cleveland Browns today, it was not. So, we just really need to execute better, boys. So, well, that's just about going to wrap it up uh, for the Sky Sports 101 uh, Browns and NFL uh, early games uh, uh, post-game show and uh, late games update show. And I'll be back with the late games first game show, Sunday Night Football preview show, uh, once the uh, late games have concluded. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. 3, 2, 1. I'm done.